Amberlynn Reed. Morbidly obese? Yes. Is she eating healthy in this video? Absolutely not. But let's talk about it. So today, we will be reacting to the Torrid Hall Queen herself, Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn Reed is a self-described weight loss channel that, since about 2011, she's gained 200 pounds. So if that's any indication of what we're about to watch today, there it is. Now, Amberlynn Reed is currently the same age I am and is 28 and weighs 566 pounds, roughly. She hasn't really officially recorded her latest weight, but that's the last weight I know of. So that's what we're gonna go off of. Her video uploaded earlier today is called What I Ate Today, all caps, four exclamation points. You know it's gonna be some exciting, riveting content. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy with this. We're also going to be watching her video at one and a fourth speed because she tends to talk very slow and drag things out. But I feel that one and a half is too fast. So we'll, we'll find that happy medium of speeding her up to get that point across. Because that is definitely something she struggles with. Okay, so to start off this kind of video reaction, video review, whatever you want to call it, we're actually skipping ahead because the first minute, minute and a half is just speculative drama she's putting out there where she's sad, something terrible happened, but she's not going to tell us. Which, if you didn't want to tell us, you didn't have to. But you want to stir up drama in your community. You want people to have something to react to. You want people on Twitter and Snapchat to hit you up and ask you what's going on, what is it, come up with their own ideas. You like drama. Again, you're known for mukbangs, drama, turtles. That's your legacy on YouTube right now. But that's okay. Let's let's start. So about a minute and a half in, that's where we're gonna skip ahead to. So, anyways, here is what I filmed yesterday. So I have some. These are supposed to be fried dumplings, but to me, they never really seem fried, which I don't mind. And then so right off the bat, for breakfast, we're going to consider this breakfast because it's the first food item she's showing us for her day of eating. Food item number one is fried dumpling takeout from a Chinese restaurant. So it's fried, full of carbs, dripping in grease, and includes a soy sauce garlic green onion dipping sauce, it looks like. I highly doubt it's low sodium, because, let's be honest, this is your breakfast. Most people have like eggs, sausage, bacon, proteins, something light to start your day, generally. And we have some like sauce, I don't really know what it is. But I think there's some she doesn't know what it is, but she identified green, green onions. Onion in there. So I'm slightly proud. This looks it's a good first step for her. So good. So yes, I'm eating in my room, and um, she's eating in her room. If I look like I've been crying, it's because I have. And again, despite skipping ahead at the beginning of the video, we're still getting this vague drama. This woe is me. I get it. Things get hard but you're sitting in front of a camera of your own accord. You chose to put this out. You can choose to just not put this out. You haven't recorded the last couple days. You didn't have to do it right this day. You don't follow a schedule. And being a YouTuber, you make your own schedule. Either tell us or don't. Don't play these high school drama games. What you'll see a lot in her videos is she never mentally matured past high school. That's kind of the mentality she brings forth and how she acts. I don't really want to get into it, but I got some very bad news today. 
but let's not talk about that take my mind off of it with some dumplings so right there take my mind off of it with some dumplings that is probably the most telling phrase the most important statement she's ever said on youtube that phrase should be put on sticky notes all over her wall so that's the first thing she sees when she wakes up let's not talk about that take my mind off of it with some dumplings that's that literally sums up her whole five years on YouTube. That phrase is the reason behind her weight gain, her lack of mobility, her moods. You're replacing feelings with food. That is textbook eating disorder. And I know you've said you've had binge eating, eating disorders. Not a lot of proof that she's been to a doctor, but I'm not one to judge someone on whether she has something or not. I think from that phrase alone, it tells us she has issues with food. She has issues with processing her feelings in a healthy manner, and instead of going to therapy on a regular basis, it gets replaced with food, like Chinese takeout for breakfast. And then these habits become normal. And that's her issue. That phrase. That is probably the most important phrase I've ever heard in her videos. And she probably doesn't even realize it. And that's what I think kills me, is she doesn't realize that. That is the core of Amberlynn Reed. And that is the core of Amberlynn Reed's problems. She can be more than her issue, but she needs to work for it. He's drinking water right now, so if you hear that. All right, let's take a bite. So she's done a lot of mukbangs in the past. We usually get a lot of slurping, lip smacking, uh, lack of utensils. It's just kind of her MO at this point. The stage is never set. She's never in a nice kitchen. She's never in a designated area. It's always like wherever's convenient. It's not about quality here. And sometimes it's not even about quantity. See, this isn't as bad as usual. This I can handle. This isn't so audible oh. with the chewing and almost like the ASMR eating. Can't stand that. This is it's one gross. Of my most favorite things. Not a fan. Came with white rice. <laughs> Not complaining. I usually eat this. So food item two, two separate meals. was a when box of this, white rice, which generally a takeout container of white rice is about two cups of white rice. Again, all carbs, but very little protein. I think the only thing going for her with that is, no, I think, almost next to none fat. So, I wanted to show you guys up close what it looks like. So, when I get this, I actually and do Singapore not rice noodles. eat the pork or the chicken out of it because that's just my little opinion here is that I don't like it too much. But I do eat the shrimp, so I take... So out of that entire dish of rice noodle, she takes out two of the most important ingredients, the chicken and the pork. You just took out all your protein. You have shrimp, sure. You just took out at least two thirds of your protein for that dish, which again, leaves you with heavy carbs, probably a decent amount of fat in this dish, and very little protein. You took out the one thing you shouldn't have taken out, the protein. We've seen you eat chicken in multiple instances. I'm almost positive we've seen you eat pork. What's the issue here? Again, not liking things in certain dishes, but when you're on a weight loss journey and trying to better yourself, you gotta make the right decisions. And this is obviously not it. This is trash. This is takeout trash delivered to your bedroom because you couldn't even make it into the kitchen. The kitchen thing was a little mean, but I'm also very frustrated with her lack of effort and just the negative, dangerous thing she tends to post out there. So, I'll try to reel it back. I don't want to be too mean. Look out all the chicken and like these little beef situations. That the looks pork, terrible, but that pork. might just be the camera. Saying beef. I'm so annoying. Usually Not I would ask of whatever for... Is going on in that you know, dish. Just shrimp or maybe just a vegetable one. 
but they actually do not have that option, which is really shocking, because I tried asking one time, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what's in here besides the obvious, like, I don't know the seasonings. So I don't get as you would usually ask with it out or substituted, but then you say they don't have that option. So are you just ordering from multiple Chinese places, or is this from when you lived in a different place? It's kind of weird, but whatever. It kind of tastes a little curry, but there is egg, there is some spices for sure, because there's a little bit of spice. Okay, she's got egg in there. I'll take egg. Egg's a good protein. Again, I want to ramp that up. Maybe extra egg next time. Tastes a little bit of kick. Obviously onion, there's some like carrot slices. It's so freaking good. And obviously the three meats, shrimp, pork, and chicken. Ah, oh, Twinkie. So. Twinkie makes me sad because he's like, a very obese tiny dog. Some? No. And the no. nails need to be cleaned because no one takes care of the animals in that house. Okay, so we got a fork. Which again, if you can't expect them to take care of themselves, why would they take care of the animals? I think that kind of goes like, hand in hand at that so point. Well. So, I personally didn't even notice that it was like spicy, but last time I had this, I had Eric take a bite. No, oh, she like, handles spice well. Why you like it because it's kind of spicy, and I was like, is it though? And now like, oh yeah, I guess it kind of is. I can see Eric just not handling spice. He doesn't seem like a mm. spice strong person. Nick Avocado, Avocado did a um, eating like Amber Lynn Reed video. So again, yeah. getting into more drama, can't have a video without drama with her, she's getting into another reaction channel, who she reached out to, didn't like the result. And this was one of the things, and he was like super excited But you can see the joy on her face when she's eating. We get this weird, almost sexual happiness when she eats, which is disturbing to watch. I don't like to watch her mukbangs, I don't like to watch her eating videos. But I am curious about the calorie breakdown of what she's doing today. So I'm going to break that all down at the end, just to kind of show what she consumed, what the issues are with it, and how she can improve it. The new American Horror Story episode. I loved it. it was American so Horror Story. Good. Couldn't care less. I'm having a Sprite Zero. Hey, Sprite Zero. We got a zero sugar soda to really, really nail in that health. It's like a Diet Coke with extra takeout on the side. Just really evens it out. I'm going to be honest. This is the only video I wanted to film today, only because, like, I just feel... And again, it's the only video she wanted to film today was a eat with me video, because she feels depressed. Food, emotion. Again, the root of her issues. She needs to stop equating foods with emotions. She needs to find a different outlet, a healthier outlet that's not going to kill her at the end of it. So, like, defeated and distraught and, like, emotionally exhausted and... I have gotten so many messages on Instagram and Snapchat just saying, we miss your content, we miss your A lot of people missing her, again, she really so just, just feeds her narcissism. I mean, she needs that. The people who Food and attention. This is a bad angle, so I do apologize, but anyways. So this is my next meal, but I do want to say I actually did not finish the Singapore rice noodle. I ate about half of it. I did finish the Okay, we have some dumplings. cereal. Those were really we have some good. grapes still frozen. Later on that night, good snack I decided choice. to have something sweet. So these are white grapes, or at least that's what she they're said called. She said she didn't eat all of the rice dish, like but she did have all the dumplings. If you guys have ever heard of those, you know what I'm saying. These are so freaking good. And oh, the cotton candy grapes. Those are actually amazing. I highly so recommend. I put them in the freezer. The price is jacked up so because they're not a food grapes. item, but they taste when you fantastic. They taste like cotton candy. It's weird. Literally definitely like into it though. Literally freezing like in so again, good. freezing grapes and is a great snack. You get that sweet, you get that crunch. It's a really good alternative cereal. for lesser it healthier so things. Good. I love it a lot. And we have some milk. I did add too much milk. Okay, Cheerios with oats. That was a slip it's an okay up. choice. Was an again, not but, a lot of protein, um, you're having a lot of carbs I did there. The milk. I did finish all the cereal. Probably an and okay amount of fat. So this was actually my last And milk. Which fine. Like I said, People like milk. Personally, I can't stand opinion, milk, which is why I get oat milk. This was doesn't have such a weird food. taste behind it, but not that's personal. Food at all. A lot of people drink milk. Hey guys, so it is the next day, and I figured. Nope, oh, and this is something she loves to do now: is the random like comment days. picker, which she can just so cycle through and pick what comment she wants. So, and I'll let it load. It's a lot. Oh, and I think what I'm. It's actually kind of fun sometimes to pause and see what's in between, but I'm not gonna do that. 
which it's always the last video that I uploaded, but this one is called Being Friends With My Ex. So randomly pick winner. So this okay, is she's not going to read it because it's a response comment, not something. one directly so related to her video. Those because Fair, I get that. Me, and that's what I'm looking for. Um, have you considered losing some Have weight? you considered losing some weight? Valid question. question. So especially question especially question given the really 200 pound weight gain since the beginning of our channel in 2011. Hello, my name is Amber Lynn. My highest weight, 572.4. She's dealt with weight issues her whole life, eating disorders, one point in my life when I was about 20. A little bit of trauma thrown in there, get that. What I was living the life. Then I went a lot of real world issues, breakups, moving, that kind of thing. If you want, we can get and into her situation, deeper her situation, girl, like free on my own. at a different date. Long but right now, I'm not going to dig into just the mass I mean, amounts of drama break. involved with Amber Marie. And then I reached 572.4. Disgusting, horrible, and yes, I have considered losing weight. And I'm not going to invalidate that. Binge eating and any kind of eating disorder is a struggle. Which is why you have to take positive steps to help combat that. It's generally never going to go away. It's always going to be kind of creeping at the back of your mind, which is why you need different tools, techniques, different support structures to help mitigate that voice. Kind of quiet it down and replace it with a more positive choice. Something that you can help change in yourself, with yourself, what you surround yourself with especially. So I'm not going to invalidate her struggle with eating disorders. It's very hard. I get it, but after so many years, you need to start making changes. Very hard to handle, especially mixed when you have a binge eating disorder, or even if you don't have a disorder, just the fact that you binge, because I do binge, but I haven't, and it's been, I'm going to say about a week now. Again, more um, justification, binge eating disorder, just keep got it. Mind frame and stuff like that. And I did weigh in yesterday. I did not film it. And I actually lost, like, I think it was... So she did a weigh-in yesterday? Six to eight pounds. Since I lost last six to eight pounds. You guys. So I was very happy to see that. and very proud. We don't get a weight attached to that, apparently. We just know that she lost some weight. It really freaking helps. So anyways, not filmed, not recorded, no actual weight given. The usual. Oh, that was a very fast ending. She usually likes to drag that out. But that was Amberlynn Reed's What I Ate Today, four exclamation points. So now that her video is done, I went ahead and went on my fitness pal and tried to match the best I could what she showed in her video to already recorded data points for similar dishes. I tried to make them all from Chinese takeout, similar titles, what she described them as, and about the serving she showed in her video. I think I got pretty close to be honest, but instead of telling you each individual breakdown, I'm just going to show you the total breakdown. And that's excluding the very special, very healthy Spray Zero. So at the end of everything she showed us, all the Chinese takeout, the cereal, the grapes, that kind of stuff, the total calories was 2,144 calories. 328 grams of carbs, 83 grams of protein, and 57 grams of fat. So basically all of her dishes were very carb heavy. Now the thing about carbs is carbs are fine. I'm not into keto or any of that ridiculous fad diet stuff. I was going to use a different word, but I didn't. But the thing about carbs is your body really enjoys carbs, so it tends to break them down faster. It's just a different type of energy source. So while you might feel full in that moment, it's not going to last. You're not going to feel full for the long term. What you need to replace that with is protein. Your body takes more energy to break down protein, so you feel fuller longer because your body's using it for a longer period of time. So generally, in weight loss, you want to cut down your carbs, really jack up the protein, and that's kind of your baseline. See if that works, with you, works for you, and if not, adjust it from there. So with her 328 grams, about 70% 70 uh, of her meals were carbohydrates. 
That is such a ridiculous ratio of macros in her meal for the day. General weight loss carb goals is between 50 to 150 grams. That's if you want substantial weight loss. It's within safe ranges. So she not only doubled the higher limit, but ate six times the amount of carbs than the lower limit of the 50 gram threshold. That really puts it into perspective. And on top of that, the calories to maintain her weight of about 560 pounds takes about 4,000 calories. So consuming 4,000 calories a day, day in and day out, will get you to that weight. So the fact that she ate less than that today is great. Do I necessarily believe that she only ate that? Not really, but it's what she showed us, so I'll go with it. So the 2,000 calories is much better than the 6,000, or sorry, 4,000 calories that she usually does. But again, you can see a lack of effort, a lack of educating herself. She has the internet, she posts YouTube. Right now in her life, she can help control some of these elements, like her food, her exercise, who she surrounds herself with. Everyone in her house right now has been losing weight. Becky's lost weight, Eric's lost weight. I forget Eric's partner's name. It's Eric and Ricky. Ricky is his name. I can't believe I ever got that. I literally just watched one of their videos. I'm sorry, Eric and Ricky. My bad. But everyone in the house has lost significant weight except for Amberlynn Reed. And you can see the why. This video is the why. The feelings with emotions, the bad food choices, and the lack of mobility. She even chose to eat in her bedroom. Which, again, might be a symptom of her depression, might be stemming from her eating disorder. But there are steps to take to work around that and help deal with that. What really kills me is I am the same age as Amberlynn Reed. I weighed myself October 1st and I was 153 pounds. We're the same age at different points in our life. And I don't want to see her struggle. I don't wish any ill will on her. This isn't made to make fun of her. This is here to be a wake-up call to show her what she's doing wrong. Those carbs were so high for someone that's trying to lose weight that it's unimaginable that that, that, that was okay. Because she went through the process of choosing that food, videotaping herself, and putting it on YouTube. And through that process, it was, yes, this is normal, this is an okay breakfast, this is what I'm consuming. Because she didn't say anything to negate any of those assumptions. So that is what she wanted to put out there. That's what she views as normal. And that, in and of itself, is the issue. Disordered eating patterns with no attempt to correct them. Except for going into fad diet losses, multi-level marketing schemes, and honestly blaming everyone except herself. She could really turn this around. If she went and dropped 300 pounds, her YouTube channel would blow up. She would prove all her haters wrong. She would get tons of new fans. She would get so much so much support. It would be ridiculous. Her YouTube channel would grow. She would get more money. Really, all the pros are there with very, very minimal cons. But that takes effort, and that takes getting out of the comfort zone, which so far isn't something she's willing to do yet. And I think she makes that pretty obvious. So that's it for this little reaction video and breakdown of her meals. I don't want to turn into a reaction channel with her. I know there's plenty out there. I highly recommend Kicking Geese, who has a very positive vibe when she reacts and Charlie Gold, who is an overweight YouTuber working on bettering herself, and she has a very realistic approach when she talks about Amberlynn Reed. So Kicking Geese if you want endless positivity and hope, and Charlie Gold if you want kind of a more direct in-your-face approach. I enjoy them both. They're both very good people. I will link them somewhere in the description. But again, let me know what you think about Amberlynn Reed. Are you familiar with her? What do you think about her channel and the information she puts out there? Do you think there's hope for Amberlynn Reed?
I want to say there is, but she's not going to listen to anyone until she wakes up for herself. She's not going to do anything until she gets to the point she needs to. Kind of like an addict of any sort, and a food addict is included in that. She needs to hit her personal low in order to work past it. And hopefully that comes before she's dead. Because unfortunately, that's the reality of morbid obesity. I hope she wakes up before that, and again, sorry for being depressing. She's just a lot to take in, and I hope you guys have a good night.